Thanks for staying with us. You're welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. Yesterday, Saturday, here on The Morning Show, we had the privilege of speaking with Professor Usman Yusuf on a number of things, including Nigeria's current economic outlook against the backdrop of soaring inflation figures released earlier in the week by the National Bureau of Statistics. Professor Yusuf, a former executive secretary of National Health Insurance Scheme, did not pull his punches and placed the responsibility for the country's negative economic spiral squarely on the lap of the president and his team. Those views were deeply profound and we feel obliged to balance things out by hearing from the other side. And that, to that end, we're now being joined here by Jesutega Onokpasa, a lawyer, writer, and public affairs analyst. He's also the chairman, Tinubu Media Support Group, vice chairman, independent media and policy initiative, and former member, APC Presidential Campaign Council. Onokpasa was as well a member of the Tinubu Presidential Legal Team. Good morning, Mr. Onokpasa. Good to have you join us on the morning show today. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you two? Hope you're good. I'm fine. Happy Sunday. Wish you the same. All right, I'm sure that you followed uh, yesterday's interview uh, with Professor Yusuf. Um, and of course, the issues that he yeah. described were basically uh, to assess the state of the nation. And as we read out in the intro, uh, he put the blame squarely on the lap of the president and his team. And then, you know, to use the street parlance, a lot of people will say, where's the lie? What are your thoughts? And of course, you know, you have the right of reply. What are your thoughts on what he said? And do you think that he went overboard or you just basically would like to either disagree or put things in proper perspective? Thank you. Uh, Professor, Usman Yusuf came on your station yesterday to basically uh, make incitement to propagate disunity and basically make uh, a mockery of himself. That's, that's, that, that, that is what he did at his age, which is just too shameful. Now, what, what is the, the, the uh, present situation in Nigeria? We, we have citizens who are going through uh, Serious challenges. And our problem is not even lack of food. We don't. Even you, Stephen, should know that we don't, do not have lack of food. We are not lacking food in this country. It is the money to buy the food. Professor, you still said the same thing yesterday. Then... You said the same thing yesterday. Uh, 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 you said... I said, Prof, said the same what thing said, yesterday. Seriously. <laughs> but you have to put things in perspective yes, so that but, you know but, but precisely you what you are responding you gave, to. Yes, yes, excuse me. You gave him opportunity to gaslight, to basically, um, uh, he, was, he was even on the verge of calling for insurrection. Sorry, That's what, what he was doing. He and I was so ashamed of it. In what way did he gaslight? Sir? He, he, he was he was excuse excuse me he was totally gaslighting. In what he was way? totally gaslighting. What did he say he was that talking, was gaslighting? He was talking beautiful. He was talking about nothing. Uh, uh, Nigeria, Southern Nigeria, not tell leaders this, as if he's the spokesman he of the Sultan, said as if he's the he spokesman. Actually said that, Good God. He actually said that mm. President Tinubu's policies have caused mm. discomfort for everyone across the country and not just only in the north. And That's that if northern clerics or traditional rulers are coming out to speak about the crisis that they face, that they are the first line of defense not, for me, his people. Excuse me, please. He is not the spokes, 
Will, will you let me speak? Yes. This is my right of reply. Excuse me, I personally called Prince Unduka Obaigbena for this right of reply. If you will let me speak, for God's sake. Okay? Now, he came here, he, pre, he, he, he claimed to be speaking for Northern traditional rulers. He is not the spokesman of Northern traditional rulers. This, his eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, is my friend. I have been to his house. I have eaten food with the Sultan. He's not the spokesman of the Sultan, for God's sake. He just comes here. This is someone who was sacked from his job. Then he comes here. He starts uh, 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 trying to push the north against the south. And you gave him a platform. And you know the kind of character he is. A cantankerous character. That's who he is. That's what Professor uh, 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 Yusuf is. Then he, he, keeps, he keeps saying, not, 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 not. Not what? We are one Nigeria for God's sake. We are all in this together. Now, you, you, have, you have a governor in, in, uh, in Niger State who says, food should not move down south. Oh, that is the game we are going to play in this country. Then what does uh, governor, my own governor, uh, uh, Sheriff uh, Oborewari do? He says, let no, uh, does he say, let no f uh, crude oil flow to uh, Dangote refinery in Lagos? Then what does Jiden Sawalu do? He says, no tanker of oil should move to Niger State. Are we not one country for God's sake? Let nobody, let nobody in this country threaten another person. Did you hear me? Nobody should threaten, a, nobody has a monopoly of anything. We are one country. Okay, your so guest sure. yesterday is a most, Ill, excuse me, your guest yesterday was, was behaving most irresponsibly. He's not the spokesman. This Sultan of Sokoto is my friend, my cousin. Air Vice Marshal Terry Okoro Dudu introduced me to him. Okay? He is not the spokesman of the Sultan. He is not the spokesman of the Emma of Kano. He is on his own. And you gave him the opportunity to keep gaslighting yesterday. You did not push back on him. If I can come and in he here, was Mr. talking Onopasa. utter rubbish. Okay, Mr. Onopasa, we need to realize that uh, I'm going to take a quote from our, our guest yesterday who said, leaders have forfeited the right to make any excuses. Now, you are a prominent public affairs analyst and you're a legal expert closely associated with the Tinubu Media Support Group. What are your reflections on Professor Usman Yusuf's critique of the current administration's handling of Nigeria's economic challenges, especially speaking on the recklessness of the government, as he's described. An example he gave being the sudden which, removal which, of which fuel reckless, subsidy with that, I'm about to tell you that, being the fuel subsidy removal without looking at the balance sheet of the nation or consulting I, with, I, uh, with, I, a, with I a cabinet that was barely there. The body language looks like this administration does not that. have please, a plan. Please. How do you refute that? Do We're you seeing you the you effects. Are gas, you are, you are, I'm just asking you a question, Mr. Anapasa. You are gaslighting. You, yes, I have heard your question. Can you let me speak for God's sake? You can speak You are now. gaslighting. Which, which irresponsibility of which administration? If, are we going to use your uh, grandparents' money to pay for, for subsidy? No, they did not see the eight years of waste, of printing of money, of borrowing money to pay for what? To put money in their own pockets. It is today we want to, want to do what? Do which protests? Listen to me. All these things won't work. Do you know the kind of people that support this government? It's people who love truth, who love this country. Okay? People who love the truth and who love, genuinely love this country. Not rent seekers. Not thieves. Who want to keep putting subsidy money in their pockets. Alright? There was no money to pay subsidy. 
It was eight years of grotesque irresponsibility. Okay? Now, you gave this guy more than an hour yesterday to start gaslighting. To, to, he was on the verge of insurrection, that's of not, treason. That's not correct, Mr. Nopasa. We didn't no, give, no, him, we didn't give him more stop? than one hour. Was, Mr. Nopasa, listen, correct, listen, let's calm down so that we can hear uh, each other better. We didn't give him more than one hour. We gave him a slot minutes. that was barely 30 minutes. I mean, he made this point. Why don't you just respond to the issues that he raised right. rather than claiming he, that everybody's he, gaslighting? He, he, he did not make any point. I am. I am. I am responding to the point. If you will let me. Right. If you will let me respond, yeah. please. All right, Mr. Anakwa, sir. If you will let me respond, please. All right, Mr. Anakwa, sir. Now, let, let us just go to the details here. We are here. one country. Can we go to the details here, Mr. Onakwa, sir? We, How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. The, good, 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 good. Good morning, my adorable Oji. All right. Let, let's just go to the details here. There were a lot of accusations. First of all, uh, Professor Yusuf Usman accused President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of nepotism after he appointed his son-in-law as the head of Federal uh, Housing Authority. He also talked about how this administration has pushed more Nigerians into multi-dimensional poverty because of some of his policies. I'd like for you to respond did, to those two. Did, did, did he? Let me just land. My main I am question. Not, I am not, I am not. My main question, I because, because it is, script, sure, it is, your, it is your right of reply. And I'd like for you to respond to those accusations. That's yes. number one. So, number yes, two. So I am, I, I, sure. I am. Sure. Number two. My I am responding. Will sure. you let me respond? Go ahead. I on, will on, not dance to your tune. No problem. On those two My accusations. God, you will have to give me some respect. Sure, sir. On Beautiful. those two accusations. Now, let us. It is a, it's a conversation for God's sake. Absolutely. You will let me speak. Go ahead, sir. Go My ahead. adorable daughter, please let me speak. Go ahead, sir. You, the Good. floor is yours. You, I adore you. Let Thank me you. speak. Now... Now, which nepotism is he talking about? Is it the nepotism we saw the last eight years? He wants to protest what? What is anybody threatening in this country? Who? Threatening who? That you will stop food from coming from north to south. Then the people from south should stop what they produce to go to, go to the north. Do we still have a country? What is wrong with people in this country? We strike who? Seriously. We have one country. Listen, I think Steve, uh, uh, my brother Steve Ayurande will understand this better. I will mention one word. One nation, one destiny. It was the mantra during the era of Shehu Shagari. If nobody there understands that, Steve most certainly will understand it. I do understand okay. it. Yes, one nation. Let's respect yes. each other. Nobody, nobody should threaten, threaten another person in this country. Okay. We are all in this together. All right, Mr. We Ahmed. have a president in this country. Our president means well. Please let me speak. Our president means well. He is working hard to put things together. Do you even know the biggest problem we had the last eight years? When all these people, their voices were silent. The problem was the emasculation of President Tinubu from the... If, if President Tinubu's touch was in the government this last eight, eight, eight years, we will not be where we are today. All right. Okay. We are trying to get, off, get out of a, a difficult situation. Then somebody comes on, on, uh, on, on television and starts threatening people that he will do what? Governor Bango says he's, uh, he wants to uh, stop food moving from, uh, from Niger State. Should I stop food from moving from Delta State to his state? What an insult. All right. We are one country. Let us rest. Listen, nobody, excuse me, nobody is afraid of anybody. Okay. Let nobody threaten anybody in this country. All Please. Right. All right. What Mr. an insult. Sure. Rubbish. All right, All right Mr. Anakwasa, you've talked about, about threat a lot. But I asked a question, and it was just a question about nepotism, which you have not answered yet. But I'll yes. skip that. I'll, I'll skip, I'll skip said, that question. I said, I said, is it nepotism? Mm -hmm. No, is it nepotism? Whatever nepotism is embellishing, is it worse than the nepotism of the last eight years? 
This is what is happening. All right. The idea okay, of Nigeria your being brother, plunged your candidate into... Has... The, the idea of Nigeria being plunged into multi-dimensional poverty <laughs> was one of his main issue on the program yesterday. But I'd like, I'd like, I'd like for you... Nigeria well, you've answered some of those questions. Can but I answer you? No. I've heard, I you have will. heard your question. You will. Can I but answer it now? I gave you five minutes to respond, but you haven't responded. But let me ask you this last question. What do you I, make? I, I want to respond to the sure, question. Sure. No, I, I insist on responding to okay, the question. Okay, go ahead, sir. Is it Bola Tiribu that costs beautiful? Is it Bola Tiribu that costs multidimensional poverty in Nigeria? How? 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 We are Christians. Today is Sunday, for God's sake. Let us fear God. How do Bola Tiribu cause a single problem in this country? How? Eight years, you were there. Well, he talked about the how many policies. people. How many people were lifted out of poverty? It's Bola Tinubu's fault. Bola Tinubu is not even one year in power. Okay, let's let's. People are complaining. Mr. Onokasa, Mr. Onokasa, please can I ask you a question? Because you asked, you said what problems has he caused? So let's talk about some of the problems we're facing today that we did not face before he was sworn in on the 29th of May, 2023. Can we talk about some of the exact problems we're facing? We have new inflation figures for monetary inflation. Ni the Naira has lost its value at a faster rate than under myself. President... Mr. Uh, you did not answer OG's previous question, which was about Giwa, nepotism. Giwa Osagi. Yes. Giwa Osagi. Yes, sir. I, I will answer the, old, the first question before this, your question. About nepotism specifically. No, she asked about nepotism no, we, specifically. We, we, we will... Uh, we we are not having we are not we are no longer having a conversation if you will not allow me answer the question you, you can't detail to me i'm just asking if you are going to speak reply. on nepotism in government which nepotism which nepotism which nepotism is it the volatile rule that walked his own son out of a federal executive meeting that you're accusing of a nepotism? well the federal executive meeting has, has people oh, who what what yes <laughs> there's there's what, legal what, requirements what, what for who me? can be on the federal executive council meetings right this is a very important meeting no, and nobody what, 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 what are you saying? We're, we're talking about the appointment of his son-in-law to be in charge of the federal housing committee commission my apologies no he, he is not qualified are you more qualified than him what do you mean by that what, what's, what's the point? Is, listen to me. Nobody. Eh, listen, listen. I'm not going to dance to this, this gaslighting you are, you are trying to do, my, my adorable daughter. Nobody should threaten anybody in this country. We are one country. Do you know the kind of people that support Bola Tiribu? Let nobody think that he can intimidate anybody. Not in this country. The people who support Bola Tiribu, we support him from the bottom of our heart. And we support him because we believe that this country is in a precarious state. And this is the kind of man we need to be our... People just... They, you, they, there's this narrative out there that people follow. Do I look like Daniel Bala? We, we, we don't collect money from Bola Tidubu. We spend our money on Bola Tidubu. If you don't know... All right. So, Mr. Onokwasa... I've said it on television. May I come okay. in now, if you don't mind? Mr. Onokwasa. All right. Can I come in now? Just two quick questions. No. So that you do not uh, get agitated in any way. It's a conversation, just like you said. Uh, you've referred to the case... Yes. Let me be able to respond. That's yes. That's I'm asking. No problem. No problem. I'll just ask you two quick questions, and then you have the floor to respond. Uh, first is to respond on the issue of uh, Governor Bago of Niger State, uh, who is mounting food blockade, you know, uh, 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 discouraging food, in fact, ordering that food should not come down south. You made reference to it. But then who is to act? It's, 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 breaking, it's breaking the law. Exactly. So who is to act? I said, who is to act? Uh, your man, Ashwajibola Metinubu, is the president of the country. We have not had any response from any agency of government 
on what Governor Bagu has done. That's one. Uh, secondly, Mr. Anokwasa, you mentioned, you referred to the case of subsidy and that subsidy had to go. Correct, subsidy had to go. But then are you aware that we are now paying probably double on subsidy than what the president uh, uh, claimed that he canceled, that he removed by May 29? Are you able to confirm that if indeed the landing cost of petrol as of today is more than okay. it's more than a thousand just one just 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 one moment if it's more than a thousand now it, it only means that we are paying much more on subsidy than we were paying Hello. before may 29. yeah we, there's, there's, there, if anybody who has evidence that subsidy is being paid is uh, quite free to present such uh, such evidence what i can tell you for sure is that president Tinubu has been uh, using creative means to stabilize the uh, supply of oil to Nigerians, as he's equally using creative means to uh, bring down prices, which the citizens of this country will see soon. As for Governor Bago, uh, I, I don't know <laughs> who, who, who he think he is, that he, he can disrupt uh, trade, he can violate freedom of movement. He can violate freedom of commerce. He can dis, uh, uh, violate freedom of contract. No problem. If if he if he if he thinks that is what he's entitled to do, he will know that even a governor with immunity is not above the law. Okay. Now we are patriots. Okay, and it's not a tit for tat. We are one nation. One country, one destiny, all right? Nobody has the right to block anything from being transported across Nigeria. Because if we do that, we will no longer have a country. Let's respect each other. And let nobody tell us about protest. Protest for what? The protest we did not protest for eight years. Eight years of, of indolence. Governor Bago, by the way, you know, is a member of your party, is a member of APC. I wonder why why your party has not done anything about it. That, 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 is, that is beside the point. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Onakwasa. Chairman, Tinubu Support Group.